Damn, P. Glow, you did that? Yeah. Still on that boss shit, been bossing up with run shit. Still be clutching on that fly, they on that go dumb shit. Fuck with that horn, she called carriage, you can't be fucking with no dumb bitch. One, two, three, four, I'm on your ass, you better run shit. Give it pussy so damn good, I had to hit it. Make me come quick, got police inside it, bitch. A nigga playing, then it gon' hit. None of my niggas out here saw we ain't the crew that you should fuck with. Black team, black force, still can't be fought with. What's up, you guys, man? It's your boy Real to Real, man. Back in here with another video. Hey, man, say, man, hey, man. It's your boy, man. Real to Real. Y'all already know what it is, man. Uh, first off, man, we got something crazy pulling up right now. Yes, Sersky. Yes, Sersky. We got something real exciting pulling up to the house right now as we speak. No games to be played. None whatsoever. Sheesh. She's the last one left, too. Last one left. Y'all, it's so hot out here. I ain't gonna lie to you. It's excruciating hot. Going on, brother. Shit. Man, it's hot as hell. Huh? Yeah. What happened to the top? What happened to the top? Why you had to tape it? Yeah. Uh, yeah, but we got it on. Um, Got the colors being delivered. It it wasn't no gap at first. Yeah, but it wasn't uh. Yeah, never. It it don't even matter. It don't even matter. Um, yeah, it don't matter. I'm redoing it anyway, but it wasn't like that when I bought it, though. Yeah, it's all good. Yeah, but y'all see it, man. Colors being delivered. Hold on. My battery going dead. Let me uh, get a battery. All right, y'all, man, we got it down. Uh, I'm trying to put another battery in it right now. Got a new battery. I'm finna put it in it. He said it went, it was, it went dead, but the car was firing up perfect, like days and days and days straight. So he must left some on or left a door open or something. And then he put some duct tape on my damn top and completely fucked up the new top even though it had a little tear in it man he fucked the whole top up man with some damn duct tape i mean fucked it up man and can't get the shit out then gonna tell me to just wash it but i just told him you wash it i paid i paid for the transport you wash it so he's just sitting up in the truck how oh, that's that's on you bro like I don't understand why people don't take accountability for shit. And they don't care. They just all about making money these days. But never want to take fucking accountability. That's why I be saying about these fucking shops, bro, too. They be doing all this fucked up shit. And then some shit go wrong. Yo, shit. They try to put it on you. Because they don't want to take accountability. They want you to still pay for it. To fix what they fucked up from the first time. Like, I don't understand these days, bro. But um, I just know right now, they gonna even have to take some money off. Cause I don't give a fuck. I bought this bitch and I spent too much motherfucking money on it for the shape that it was in. Who, who, uh, who? Damn, you, you expect me to just ride around with a fucking dirty top and shit? Even though I'm doing the car over, damn, like, damn, I, that motherfucker was presentable. 
Like now you got my top all fucked up. It was a brand new top. Some shit just happened to where it got sliced. But damn, you just fucked up a brand new top. Now you can't get this black ass shit off of it. And this shit's so fucking noticeable. And I'm like, damn, I'm trying to surprise my wife when she come home like, hey, how, what, what the car look like? Check out the car. I mean, I don't want to be looking all crazy and fucked up. But hey, it is what it is, man. People don't care about your shit the way they care about theirs. But um, I hate this video had to start off like this, but I'm talking about the car crunk up on a dime every time we crunk it up. You know what I'm saying? The dude, he'll, he'll come back to it. He ain't boost it off, no nothing. He go in with the key. He crunk it up every time I call. He never had the hood up, no nothing. So I'm like, fuck, like came down here. Now it don't, now it don't run and dry. And he says it's the battery. Okay, pretty sure it's the battery, but pretty sure you had to leave something open for the battery to run down. So I got another battery, a new battery. So, I mean, I ain't tripping. But the thing is, I'm tripping by my top, bro. Cause you know what I'm saying? I can cruise around just like I am right now. So I don't know, it is what it is, but we took the delivery of the cutlass today. Cutlass has been dropped off for the people that may thought I was stunning or capping or whatever. Uh, yeah, it is what it is, my boy. Y'all, I'm so pissed off. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all, man. Look at this, brand new camera. Brand new camera. Dude outside made me so mad and I was trying to go and get some gas for the car because the car ran out of gas. He moved it around so much. I guess it ran out of gas at the battery. I'm talking to the guy, telling him to clean the top and all that. And I went to go get the gas, left the, the camera on the truck and ran the camera clean over. So I tried to put my original um, lens back in. And as y'all see, when I Cut it on. It cuts on now. It wasn't just cutting on. So maybe, let me see. Maybe I don't have to buy another camera. Uh, I guess when you close it like that, it cuts off. Man, come on, man. Oh, I think it, but it's supposed to be on. Why is it off? It's, damn, it just cut on for the first time. Now it ain't cutting back on. See what I'm saying? Like, man, I can't go through nothing like that. It cut on and cut off. That's stupid. Why would it cut it off? Cut on. Cut off. So, so what? You can't move it or nothing? Now it's back on. But, guess if you. Now it cut off again. I ain't got time for that, man. I'm just, I got to spend $2,000 again on camera, lens, mic, tripod. Oh, my Jesus, man. Oh, man, we got everything situated with the cut, dog. Y'all see that thing, man. 1972 cut, dog, man. Yes, sir. Sorry, you guys, I'm gonna be filming on my iPhone probably for the rest of this video so my new camera and everything get in. I just ordered it and ordered a new lens, ordered a new mic, ordered a new tripod. But uh, y'all see, man, officially took delivery of the 1972 Cutlass. Yeah, and yeah, he did end up getting the thing off end up getting that tape mark and everything off. Yes, sir. Because I wasn't going. I ain't going to lie to you. Yeah, I can still see it a little bit, but it's better than what it was. 
I know it was hard for y'all probably to see on camera, but it was a lot worse than what you see. I just see straight black. But um, yeah, I just put some gas in it because it ran out of gas. Well, it the battery went dead. Then it ran out of gas. Then all that stuff got to happening. So, um, yeah, it is what it is. Now, oh, my keys, my truck. Damn, them seats hot. Shoot. All right, man, we got this thing running. Definitely gonna need some gas treatment and uh, some more gas put in it. Just did what I could for the time being. I gotta clean out this garage real quick. Uh, I'm gonna have to move the Chevy out the way. I have to move the Chevy out the way and uh, pull that thing out and try to get the other cutlass in beside the other cutlass, man. Cutlass beside the cutlass. So I got a lot of cleaning up to do in this garage. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna start back on this one soon, but I'm trying to, right now I'm trying to focus. I'm gonna take my car to the guy that painted my last 300, not the one, uh, the red and black one, the one before that, the, the shock of yellow and black one. Um, I'm going to take it to him. I'm going to go ahead and drop it off to him. And uh, we're going to go and start on the cutlass bill. We're doing a complete frame off with the cutlass. So uh, y'all stay tuned. Uh, as he working on it, I'm going to have him to just film little parts and stuff just to put on my channel. But y'all know I'm going to be going out there getting the content too myself. But uh, yeah, right now it's, it's go time. It's grind season. Uh, Y'all already know triple ticket sale right now going on on the box Chevy on Lil Dirt uh, with the gold plated. Let me repeat that to y'all. Not polished gold. These wheels are gold plated. The most expensive Forgiato color you can get. Gold plated. Period. So, uh, yeah. So uh, my guy, I'm gonna hit him up so I can get them back tail light trimmings gold and I can get my front headlight trimming gold and I'm putting the gold pinstripe on there and I'm putting the middle molding back on the sides, back on the side. This bitch so hard, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. This bitch so pressure. I damn don't wanna refund y'all and get y'all y'all money back. People that in the inner. But man, y'all know it wouldn't be me if I did something like that. So, yeah, it is what it is, man. These, the thing is about box Chevys, I think I can build another one. The 72 Cutlasses, you can't find them too quick to be able to build another one. So you have to keep what you got. So that's the only reason I'm getting rid of my car because I end up getting my ultimate dream car. This was my dream car as far as old school. But y'all, I have multiple dream car old schools. It's just, this one was the first one I can attain. And since I, my ultimate dream car always been the 72 Cutlass convertible. Always been my ultimate dream car. Ultimate dream old school and car. This is what y'all gotta understand. It's not no Lamborghinis, no Purple Monte, no none of that type stuff. This not any of that, not the McLaren 720. Except McLaren 720 is one of my dream cars, but it's not my ultimate. My ultimate dream car is that 72 Cutlass that I got. So, yeah, you guys. So, I had to make a sacrifice. Either let this one go and buy that one, or keep this one and pass on the 72 Cutlass. So, what I did, I just bought the 72 Cutlass, man. And I had to pass on Lil Dirk, man. Lil Dirk will come back soon, man. Lil Dirk will come back soon. You never know, man. You never know. This joint's so nasty, though. I ain't gonna cap, bro. With them gold door handles, this joint's just meet the bar. Like, I know a lot of people were talking about gold pearl, man. Forget a gold pearl, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm cool. It's a lot of people out there doing that gold pearl, white gold pearl stuff. So, I'm cool on that, man. We're gonna keep it the way it is. You know what I'm saying? Put that, um, 
pinstripe on that thing, wash it up, put that molding back on, and it's gonna be good to go, bro. You know what I'm saying? We ain't trying to do too much, for real. I wish I can do the, the wheel well trimming. I wish I can do that gold. I mean, I can. If I went the extra mile to try to find, I mean, try to get the guy to do it, but man, it is what it is, man. One hour later. Guys, man, home, sweet home, man. I'm just straightened up, cleaned out the garage a little bit. You know what I'm saying? To welcome in my new baby. Yes, Sersky. I think the new name for this one is gonna be Dream. I'm calling my baby Dream. This is my baby right here. This what called hard work and dedication. Never stopping, never giving up, never folding, never let nothing get to me, but making sure I get the job done. So we're gonna call this one Dream. Cause this one a dream, for real, for real. Dream Bill on the way. Shout out to Dream. This is Dream, man. Damn. 72 colors. My ultimate dream car. Dream. It's just dream, dream, dream. Now we woke. We ain't dreaming no more. This was a dream. Now it's in my garage. 72 drop top convertible. The actual year and everything I wanted. Finally got it. Finally got it. Another dream car of mine. Had one once before. Now, <laughs> I the built what? Uh, no, the other one, the one was a full head. That wasn't my dream car, the full head. But I, I went crazy with it. Then I got Kodak. You know what I'm saying? Went crazy on Kodak. No, I got Lil Dirt. After Lil Baby. I got Lil Dirt. Then I got Kodak. And then I gave away Kodak. So I wasn't going to never get rid of this car. I don't have to get rid of it now. Just all honesty. But I ain't going to lie to y'all. I'd rather somebody else enjoy this car than for me to let it just sit up. Because my main focus is going to be on this one. I ain't going to lie. I'm going to be on this one too. But we got bills. We got bills. This was a running and driving car. This a running and driving car. This a running and driving car. This truck, not a running and driving truck, but it got trash in it. I got to clean that joint out. I just been throwing stuff up in it. But uh, yeah, man, it's been an ultimate dream of mine. And what I was trying to do today, man, was go ahead and start getting the cutting done on this car, but I gotta cut this one right here so it won't tear up my fender. But it is down kind of real tight right now because as y'all see, it is still strapped down and I gotta strap down so it's pulling it down, the weight down on it. And uh, yeah, so we got to try to tackle this job within this video. And um, I was just waiting on the sun to go down, man, actually, so I can really start on it. Or I might just do it early in the morning, man. You never know um, with me. Because I want to be able to get y'all that first driving footage, man. Well, the first driving video. So I got to do both sides the same. I don't want to cut too much, so what I'm going to probably do is um because usually people just cut it right here but not more so lately um people have been leaving this on and then fold bending this out unhook the bracket there's a bracket up under here oh y'all can see uh where's that bracket right there bracket right here this bracket gotta go that's what's gonna help this bend out so 
Uh, I'm gonna do that right now. Take the bracket off and then see what all I need to do to get this thing to work. But I know I'm still probably gonna have to cut some of that off. So uh, let's get down to it. I hate to have to pop these wheels right back off because I don't like popping the caps off like that too much because uh, you can mess them up. And uh, I'll be having to get some more if I mess them up. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and start taking these bolts off. All right, man, we got it off. That mother was twisting while I was taking it off. Right there. That's crazy, man. It was twisting off while I was trying to take it off. So, uh, we're finna go head over to the other side. Do the same exact thing to the other side. I had to put some PV blast on it because that nut didn't even want to come loose. I don't know why, but it just didn't for some reason. So, I put some on this side before I even start. And what's so crazy about this side is it got more clearance than the other side. So I don't know why it's that. It's it's so weird to me. It's so weird. Like, but let me start taking this one off. But that is so weird to me. I don't know why that side is lower than this side for some reason. Maybe the scrap is extra tight on this side or something. Or the back ain't down far enough. I don't know what it is. But let me start taking this one out. And uh, I'm gonna catch y'all in a second. I got that one off now. And I already pulled this one out. As you guys see, it probably clear without me even doing any cutting on the front. So yeah, hopefully I can get the other side similar to this. So I won't have to do as much cutting at all. I don't even think I would have to even touch that. I just bent it out towards me, like everybody was telling me. Just bend it out towards you, and you should be good. Because I got 255 25 series tires instead of 275 25 series tires. So we might be good. So I'm gonna try to crank, I'm gonna crank it up, and then I'm gonna push the wheel this way so it can release this wheel. But, um, yeah, that's so weird how the other side has so much more space on that side than this side. Y'all see, it's so weird. But um, we finna figure it out. All right, y'all, so we got it to clear. So it's gonna turn this way and that way without hitting a rubber. So, yeah. I don't know, man. I might get this joint uh, repainted. I ain't gonna lie to you, Mike. That's a big Mike. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's a big Mike. We'll see, man. We'll see. Y'all know me, man. If I feel froggy, I'll jump <laughs> real quick. Cause all honesty, this car don't really need too much of nothing. You know what I'm saying? It don't need too much of nothing. <sighs> this joint's so nasty. I ain't gonna cap to you. Immaculate interior. Steering wheel. Floor's good. Like, bro. Only thing left I need to do is just adjust uh, the rim some more. This joint, uh, it's back too far. Got a big gap. So, I'm gonna bring it up closer so uh yeah that's what we're gonna be tackling next try to bring that wheel up forward because it definitely needs to come up yeah definitely need to come up so but at least i got it to where it's drivable now so i can drive it um I just don't wanna rub on that back tire or nothing, so yeah. That's why I don't really wanna do it until it's already done. Yeah, sir. This joint look good. It look good as hell. I want the right wheels too on this car. I want the right wheels. Yes, sir. All right, y'all, man. So I literally just adjusted this one now I'm finna 
tighten it back up right here just adjust it right there but um uh, i'm literally about to tighten this thing up I don't know why I go down like that. So I'm gonna be ready. Tighten these joints up. So they won't come loose. Make it stay in place. Got that thing right, even on both sides. Y'all see that? See that QA1 down there? We playing? Come on now. That QA1 on this thing, so y'all already know, man. I'ma um, I'm gonna try to get some driving footage. Um, I would have went up to what you call, but it's closed right now. But uh, yeah. Thing came out right. Came out extra right, man. Loving this mod. I ain't gonna care. Jeez. All right, y'all, man. Your boy, hey. Who? I'm about tired. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. And I ain't gonna lie, man. I really wasn't in the mood to record no more today. But I actually did, bro. So I let y'all know, man. Cause I was so, I was so pissed off at my camera for breaking. I was pissed off at the shipper guy. And then the car ran out of gas. Then the battery was dead. Cause the, I guess the guy kept trying to crank the car and it was it was like, dang. So now I'm gonna take the battery that came up out of there. I'm gonna go take it and get charged cause the brand new battery that's in this. But I probably just leave that brand new battery in there and just buy another battery for my 83 colors. This one right here. I probably just buy another battery for that one and leave a new battery in this one. So. But I'm doing a frame off on this one, like I told y'all, man. So uh -huh. y'all stay tuned. And I'm probably gonna do a frame off on that one too. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, like, um, shit, I already broke it down. I already got all the parts. I just have to re coat the parts that I already got. That would basically be it. The parts that's on the car, I just re coat them. It already got the lift on it, the suspension lift for the 28s. It got everything on it, so. Um, and basically, shit, once I pull the motor and transmission, it's basically a shell in a frame. So, y'all know all the wiring and stuff getting rewired. So, yeah, I've been in touch with a lot of people since I picked up a lot of the old school. I got a lot of people reaching out to me now. So, man, shout out to everybody that's been reaching out to me, uh, trying to help me with this process, because it's a real, real process. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, this stuff don't happen overnight with these, but um, I move quicker than a shop. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I, I really move quicker than a shop. Like, I would've had my colors motor out and everything. I would've had them up off the body if I had a lift, like, so just know your boy working, we grinding. And another thing I forgot to mention, man, y'all forgot that I had brand new floor masters, dual floor masters on the dirt too as well. So, um, yeah. So we're gonna make sure we get everything situated, suited and booted. But um, y'all stay tuned, cause tomorrow, man, y'all gonna check out that driving footage of Lil Dirt, man. After I get done doing all I gotta do in the morning. So y'all to catch that. So I'm gonna catch you guys on the next video. This ain't gonna be no long video, man. It just is what it is. Um, I ain't, once I had to wait on dude all day, it, it took my whole day away from me. Cause I had to be here when he delivered the car. Then I wasted a lot of time because I was trying to get the car to run and crank up and drive and all this type stuff. And it is now. And um, I broke my camera. I broke everything on the camera. The lens, the 600 and some dollar lens. The camera, 700 and some dollars. Um, the mic, like 100 and some dollars. The tripod was like 70, 80 some bucks. So all this plus tech. So, Y'all know how frustrated I am right now. And I just bought this whole new setup. Not even two two weeks ago. Not even three weeks ago. So, uh, yeah, man, it is what it is. Uh, one last look at this joint, man. Yes, sir. 
Look at that squattish, my boy. Yes, sir. Got that thing suited and booted. Pumping and jumping, ready to go. You feel me? You feel me? I got something coming this week too for y'all, man. If y'all don't, don't don't know, got something coming this week. Just let y'all know. But I'm gonna catch y'all in the next video. Y'all already know what time it is. Your boy Real to Real, man. Hey man, hey man, hey man. It's your boy, man. Real to Real, man. Hit that like button, that subscribe button, that share button. Go ahead, bust it down, man. I'm out here like last year. Peace. Uh... She popped the sand. The bitch is sleeping. My coat too fast. Police to see me.